all right welcome 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 back guys so again btech level 3 it this is going to be unit one exam stuff so for this one what i'm going to be doing is going over the keywords and doing just a few questions on each of those keywords to show you guys how you should go about answering those questions so the main trigger words we have are draw explain analyze and evaluate so when you have to draw, when a question that says draw, a diagram of some sort is needed. This might be a flowchart, but it's typically a system diagram, which shows how you would go about designing the system. So all the components involved, how they're connected. Um, yeah, that's typically how it works. So before you can draw this, you will need to understand the scenario. So make sure, please, please, please read it. Um, highlight what you need to highlight. Make notes if you need to make notes. Typically, the questions come in the form of... Um, this person wants to do this thing or this company wants to do this thing they need a set number of devices connected in a certain way i always tell students highlight the devices that are needed um, then you start thinking about the methods of connection whether you think wi-fi is important or even it's important and also when they connect from the outside as soon as you see a question that says anything about people working from home people working out on the road, for example, those those door-to-door -door salespeople that have to come to your house with their tiny device or tablet in hand, and they have to put stuff on the web server or the, or the file server in the office. Every single question like that, VPN, straight away VPN. You will also need to know what technologies need to be involved. Um, that's more or less the same thing. So if someone is a door-to-door -door salesperson, they're probably not going to be using Wi-Fi as their um, main means of connection to the server back in the office is probably going to be 4G, 5G, and in some cases, 3G is fine as well. So you can just say mobile network connection, but if you want to specify, I would say 4G is a nice middle of the road, 3G is a bit old, 5G is very new, but 4G, 5G is perfectly fine. Next, we have explain. You need to show your understanding. Do not just state the benefits or drawbacks. So if something says explain, explain why this is a benefit or drawback. So a question typically might say something along the lines of explain why a company would prefer to use a wired connection for all its PCs over a wireless connection. And you know how Wi-Fi works. You know how wired connections work. You stick to the benefits of wired, but you do a, uh, just a tiny comparison saying, okay, wired is typically more stable. In contrast to that, wireless uh, typically is, tends to have block signals, and if there's glass, metal, concrete, that can block the signal as well. The signal will drop, it's general stuff like that. Next, we have discuss. A discussion must have more than one argument, so more than one point of view. Give both four and the against argument. I'll be going over questions later on, so let me just quickly get through this part here. Next, we have analyze, requires great detail, typically no less than about six marks, typically six, eight, 10, and even 12 marks in some cases. You break down the question, and you look at the individual parts of the question. You will mention both advantages and disadvantages. Because you're analyzing something, you need some metric of comparison. No conclusion is needed here. Next, we have evaluate. You look at the scenario or question again and you make a judgment call, you judge it. Like analyze, you speak about benefits and drawbacks. In this instance, you will need to have a conclusion or recommend a solution. So evaluate why using wired is better for a company than using wireless. And then you say, yes, I recommend the company using wireless. Well, this particular company using wireless because people are using desktops. They're, they are typically stationary. Um, high speed and high reliability are, are things that are important. But then you might have a different question where it says evaluate why students would prefer to use Wi-Fi. It's, it's really convenient. I can walk around my entire college using my laptop. I can sit anywhere and it just jumps onto the Wi-Fi and no problem. If I had to use a cable, I would be stuck in a specific location of that room using a cable. 